Hey guys, my name is Kevin Danikowski and this is going to be KD Chem with thermodynamics or it could be KD physics, whatever you want to call it because thermodynamics is involved in both chemistry and physics. So I was with a student, was it yesterday? Yes, it was yesterday and we were going over thermodynamics and I realized that not a lot of students under, understood the adiabatic process specifically with entropy and how it relates. Also, I have a mnemonic that I use and other people kind of use, but it's not well enough known for the laws. It's going to make them very simple for you, as well as there's confusion that I'm trying to get rid of, if you have it, about change in internal energy equals Q minus W versus going down here, change in internal energy equals Q plus W. And there is one equation that I forgot. Let's see if you remember. What is the equation for work um, with relationship to a gas? Awesome! It is, I should probably write it in blue, work equals pressure times change in volume, and that will be very important. Okay, let's get started. We are going to start up above. I think I have about 20 minutes here, so hopefully I can knock it out in that time. Um, so, we have pressure versus volume, and our goal is to figure out, we're just going to make one line change that's going to be a process that's either isovolemic, isobaric, isothermal, or adiabatic. All right? So for isovolemic, the volume is the same the entire time, so that would be our point A. Pressure would change, so it would be a point B, so it would look like so. Okay? Um, actually, before I continue, I want to describe this equation, if you don't mind. So looking down here at the gas, what is this equation saying? It's saying in change in internal energy equals the heat minus the work. Now you may see an equation that would be change in energy or internal energy equals Q plus W. So not many places use plus W, but if they do, it's okay. You can critically think through it to figure out what it is. This is our diagram of a gas. And if we're putting energy into the gas, we're giving it, uh, so to speak, potential energy, then heat is going to have to be positive positive value, which is going to increase the internal energy. And if heat leaves, it's going to be negative, which is going to decrease the internal energy. Whereas here, we have work being negative in order to make the internal energy go up if work is done onto the gas, and vice versa, right, if the work leaves. The only thing that's going to be changed for this equation down here, which chemistry tends to use that one, physics tends to use this one, and much of chemistry still tends to use that one. So that one I've only seen in chemistry um, every so often. But these two will change if you happen to get the equation down below. But on the MCAT, from what I've seen, you should only expect this one. Okay, great, awesome. Moving on, isovolemic, so point A and point B, okay? Moving on to isobaric, and then we'll get into more of the details behind it and actually where the temperature lines are and where the iso, or sorry, where the entropy lines are on this graph right here. Isobaric is the same pressure the entire time, so we'll make a mark at pressure A and we will increase the volume all the way to B. Great. Isothermal, the question is where are the temperature lines? You do need to know this. Um, I'm going to actually draw it on this graph because it's going to help us in a minute. And how should I draw the temperature lines? I think I'll do it in orange. Sound good? Sounds good. So the temperature lines are like so. Now keep in mind, this is an ideal gas. If it were a non-ideal gas, um, these temperature lines, which let me draw a couple more, okay. These temperature lines actually end up doing something that looks more like uh, a dotted thing like this. And the further out you go, the more um, ideal gas it becomes. Okay, so as the as you would expect, the temperature increase causes the gas to behave more ideal. All right. Um, so that are those are the temperature lines. So here, let's isothermal. Let's make those temperature lines. What will we expect the entire time? The entire time, we would expect the same temperature. A going down, B. And in a minute, we will understand how this equation works for each of them and what it actually means beyond just like, for example, one of these values might be zero for any of these graphs. Well, what does that really mean? Okay? Um, so that's isothermal. 
And then adiabatic, here's what most students don't know. Most students do not know there are entropy lines in this graph, okay? And entropy is your amount of, or it's easy to think of it as chaoticness, right? The, the messier something gets, the more, ent or the more entropy it has. The entropy of the universe is always increasing. It's always getting more disordered. And that's actually going to relate to one of our rules here. If you can guess it, great. If not, you'll find out in a minute. Um, so the entropy lines actually exist in this graph, and they look like so. Now, I'm making them a little bit more um, vertical on purpose, and it's slightly more vertical than you would actually expect just because I'm trying to really emphasize where these entropy lines are. Okay, I'll draw that. So with temperature, temperature increases in this direction. So temperature goes up and up and up the further we go on those lines. Same goes with entropy, just at a slightly different angle. Okay? But still, up and up and up. Cool. So adiabatic process, what is it? The entropy of the system does not change, um, which means the internal energy of the system does not change. I'm going to use pink for this because I already used green. So that means we're just going to pick a line. We'll pick this one. We will start at A, and we will go all the way to B. So there is our B. Okay? So that is an adiabatic process. Now let's understand what's going on with all of these. And once you understand them, you understand thermodynamics. It's very simple. This We're going over about 80% of everything to expect for thermodynamics aside from actually applying these concepts, at least in the chem-specific chapter of thermodynamics. You know what, that's not completely true because I didn't discuss an ideal gas and I'm not going to in this video. But anyways, so for isovolemic, we have, do we have any work? That is the question. Well, because the volume does not change and although pressure does, pressure is not going to affect the amount of work. So pressure not changing and, or sorry, pressure changing and volume not changing, that means that our work is zero. So when we write our equation, and I'm going to write it for all of them, so change in u equals q minus w. Give me a second to write the rest of these. Change in u equals q minus w. And change in u equals q minus w. And uh, change in u equals q minus w. OK. So in brown. I will write what actually happens. As you would expect, there's no work, so work is zero. So that means the change in internal energy, as a horrible triangle, equals the change in heat, right? Great, so that is isovolemic. You can usually figure that out on your own in the MCAT. Um, isobaric, there's no change in pressure. However, guess what? If there's no change in pressure, it doesn't really matter. As long as there is a change in volume, work is being done in the system, okay? Which also means that this non-change in pressure is not going to affect the heat. I mean, it will affect the heat, the amount of pressure that exists in the system, but it not changing does not mean there's not a transfer of heat. Um, and then there's also going to be, of course, a transfer of energy as a result. So you just have this equation. So isobaric, isobaric conditions on that gas does not actually affect that equation. Um, going down to isothermal, we have the same temperature line. So what do we expect? Q is equal to zero. So that means that the change in internal energy U equals the change in work, right? Perfect. Um, and then lastly, adiabatic process. So this is where the entropy does not change. Okay, the entropy does not change. There's going to be something very unique about this that I'm going to discuss in a second. So aside from the entropy not changing, you would expect that the internal energy does not change then. And when the internal energy does not change, so zero, Q, changing Q, is the change in W, which makes it very easy when you're calculating these, uh, these problems. 